What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and I'm once again joined by Tyler, and we are back for our Avengers Community Series, a community series that airs every single Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time, leading up to Avengers Infinity War releasing in theaters on April 27th. We are back yet again. Uh, we're going to be talking in this video about Gamora, that we believe that she will die. Last week, we talked about Bucky, um, and we're going to kind of keep going, not exactly with the same format, but we have a couple of our videos basically predicting who will and who won't die. Those are coming up as we get uh, ever so close we are we are nearing the end of this um so we are very very excited for the release of avengers infinity war we're gonna have many videos out on the movie after it comes out so if you didn't watch last week's video please make sure you do that but we're gonna kind of be following the same format why will gamora die how she will die how it's going to affect the rest of the group and especially i think more for her and we'll kind of talk about that if we believe that or not i think especially for her how it affects the future avengers 4 even guardians of the galaxy 3 and even other characters in that kind of circle so tyler take it away how, why do you think at least gamora will die this is going to sound like a bad reason but it's not um she's been on a almost all actually the like promotional arts and all that stuff she's like one of the main characters that they keep showing um and including and this again this is gonna sound stupid including um blender bottles like for protein that you put protein in um and you might be saying what is wrong with you i'm never watching this channel again i, I wouldn't blame you um but basically here's the thing so for a um i don't remember the brand but for the blender bottles, um, they only did, so for the Guardians of the Galaxy, they did Star-Lord, Groot, and Gamora. That's it. Um, now, Star-Lord, that's, that's obvious. You know, Star-Lord's obviously one of the main faces of Marvel at this point. Chris Pratt, like, he kills it. Um, Groot, everybody loves Groot. And, um, you know, the, the protein bottle says, I am Groot. It looks really cool. Um, but then the third one, like I said, is Gamora. Now, what I think is kind of weird is, like, I feel like the main people that stand out on the Guardians of the Galaxy is Star-Lord, Rocket, and Groot. Not really Gamora. Like, I like Gamora, but I don't know if I would want her, like, on a blender bottle. So that was weird when I saw that. But then I noticed on the, um, you know, the promotional artwork, I noticed that it's like, man, she they really, like, heavily show Gamora. Um, in fact, on one of the posters that we'll show you, um, she's like right almost front and center. And it's like, what the heck? They're not even doing that with Cap. So that was weird. And then on the blender bottle um, stand, she's right there next to Cap and Spider-Man, as if she's like a main character. Um, Star-Lord's in there too, near Hulk and stuff, but like, it goes Spider-Man, Cap, Gamora. And, I, and I'm like, okay, so that that's weird because on the opposite side, Iron Man's in the same spot that she's in, which and Iron Man's obviously one of the main characters. So the fact that they have her placed in the same spot as Iron Man, just on the opposite side, on top of her being on, you know, all the posters, almost all the promotional artwork, I truly think, and even like international marketing or international posters and stuff, like Gamora is always there. Not sometimes Star Lord isn't even there. Group might not even be there. It's like Captain America, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Gamora. And it's like, what? Gamora is a side character. Why are they showing her so much? Um, and I think it's because she's going to play a big part. And I think she's also going to die. Um, and, it, and really, it almost makes sense because there's a lot of people that would be affected by it. Um, especially all of the Guardians of the Galaxy members. Um mainly Peter Quill. Like that would be devastating for Peter Quill for sure. It would be really like sad for Groot and Rocket. Um especially Groot because remember how baby Groot kind of treated her like it was his um mom. So it's basically like Groot's losing his mom. It would be sad for Rocket. It would be sad for Drax. Um who we're probably not going to do a video on on him specifically cuz he's very like minimal. Pretty sure he's going to die. Um but if not in 3 and 4 um, and Nebula would be um, very upset by it because even though you know she didn't like Gamora at the end of Guardians Volume Two, you know they kind of come to almost like a mutual like agreement, and she does does still care about Gamora. So there's a lot of 
characters that would be, um, and I know I just kind of named like the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, but I'm pretty sure based on like toy sets and stuff, she's going to be working with Iron Man and Spider-Man fighting Thanos. I don't know if that's true, but that's what the, the toy sets, Lego sets, whatever show. But obviously she's going to be working. I don't believe the Guardians of the Galaxy, based on what we've seen, are going to stick with the Guardians of the Galaxy. As we already know, Star-Lord ends up with Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and Iron Man, and Drax does too. And we also know that Rocket and Groot go with Thor. So who does that leave? It leaves Nebula and Gamora. So who are they going to be with? It's probably going to be either Iron Man or Cap. Like, they're going to have to show up somewhere. And the thing about Gamora that makes her, and, and Nebula, but mainly Gamora, the thing about her that makes her so important is because she's an adopted, stolen daughter of Thanos, and she's strong, she's very powerful, um, you know, well, not powerful, but she's very, like, she's an assassin. She's one of um, Thanos' prized possessions. She is, like, stronger, and she's better than Nebula, um, but she knows how Thanos operates, basically, and we get that from the trailer, too. So she knows how Thanos thinks, she knows how he operates, she also probably knows how to kill him. She was trained by him. Uh, so she's dangerous for Thanos, basically. Um, and, and the children of Thanos. So I think she's a key component on how to take Thanos down, which the other character that would be greatly affected by the death of Gamora is Thanos himself. Because um, I'm pretty sure if it's not him, it would be the children of Thanos on his order um, that would kill um gamora and if it's himself that kills gamora he's killing his own daughter that he actually cares about um and they mentioned um before like in an interview that he actually does like care about gamora um so you know to me it it makes sense because there's so many people uh tied to gamora that it would like affect emotionally and stuff that you know this that could even be one of the things that makes thanos Kinda, I'm not gonna say lose, but not succeed. Uh, if if he if he kills her, it might actually affect him enough where he can't, you know, maintain the journey that he's on. He might start making mistakes or something like that. Um, so the, you know, and you got to think of that kind of stuff because obviously it's not, you know, it's not real. You got to think about you know how the story might go out or or go about all of it. Um, and it's like you know. Is Thanos going to get all the Infinity Stones? Because according to her, at the snap of his fingers, he'll be able to wipe out the universe. So how do you give him all the stones? You would never even have to face him. He could just snap his fingers and end it. Um, so there's got to be something that causes him to fail in a way. Um, and that might be it. Uh, the death of his own daughter, maybe even by his own hands. So, yeah. And the other thing I want to add, too, to not forget is we... We talked about before in the um, new looks how Thanos is going to wield a sword in this movie, in Avengers Infinity War. And don't forget, who else wields a sword? Like, that's her main weapon. It was even um, kind of joked about in Guardians Volume 2 when she used a gun. Gamora. Uh, who tra- Again, who trained Gamora in that fighting style? Thanos. So, and, and who else ends up wielding a sword? Iron Man. Uh, and this is all from that Lego set that we saw. Thanos has a sword, and it's also in a poster. Um, it's it's been shown in um, like a render or like promotional art for Iron Man with a little like dagger that's created out of like the Iron Man suit. So there's no reason he can't make a sword. We could totally get a battle where it's Gam- like a final battle where it's Gamora versus Thanos. They have a sword fight. She so he's so Thanos is using a sword. Gamora is using a sword. He kills her, uh, and because Thanos is still wielding the sword, Iron Man kind of swoops in, creates his own sword, and, and finishes the fight. That could be what happens. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's just weird that why would Thanos be using a sword? Who else uses a sword to f- combat the sword? Gamora. That's it. Um, so, I don't know. I think it makes a lot of sense for her to die. I think they're kind of purposely showing her a lot. Because as we know, too, uh, from just the other day, the Russo brothers said that characters that don't have a lot of screen time in Avengers 3 will be at the forefront of Avengers 4. 
So whoever isn't in Avengers 3 a lot, they're going to be the main parts of Avengers 4. So to me, what does that say? Well, the fact that they're showing Gamora so much um, in the artwork means that she's going to predominantly be in Avengers 3, which means she probably isn't going to be in Avengers 4 that much. And seeing that she's a daughter of Thanos, maybe it's because she's not around in Avengers 4. Um, So a lot of it really does point to Gamora's death. Makes sense to me. I don't really care about Gamora, but at the same time, I don't want her to die. So I guess I do care about Gamora. I I just don't know the reason. Avengers Infinity War is definitely going to kill. I mean, they've already said there's going to be a lot of deaths. um, And it's going to be emotional and it's going to affect people. And... It definitely would, like I said, like it's going to affect the entire Guardians of the Galaxy crew. So to pick up on what Tyler just said, I'm just going to throw this in here and I'm going to give it back to Tyler. Uh, there's several tweets from James Gunn saying Guardians Volume 3 takes place after Avengers 3 and 4, leaving the possibility of Gamora dying, but also, as well as others, we don't know yet, as well as a person tweeted back at him and said, so all the Guardians live then? And then he said, I didn't say that. So I think right there, that definitely leaves the... And, and because we know, like at the very least, like Drax will die. Uh, but th- I think that leaves it wide open for several of the Guardians to not make it through to Guardians 3. So even James Gunn basically is saying not all the Guardians of the Galaxy are going to survive um, Avengers 3 and Avengers 4 to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, and as you know, as we just laid out, it makes sense for it to basically be um, Gamora, and, you know, and could be Drax, could be Nebula. I think all three will, honestly, um, but the biggest one would be Gamora. Um, you know, it makes sense for Drax to go. That's his whole goal. It makes sense for Gamora to go too, really, because that was her goal. Now I know, obviously, she ended up meeting Star Lord and all that stuff, but that's why it makes sense for her to die, because. I mean, eventually, there has to be some kind of non-happy ending. Um, And, like, she ends up fulfilling what... Or trying to fulfill what she originally started um, to to stop Thanos. It almost becomes like a Neo and Naomi thing from The Matrix where, you know, even they're they're together. (laughs) Then Naomi can't go on um, to let Neo finish the job. But, you know, like, she helped get him there. Um, it, and you know, nobody likes that part, but it happens. Um, so that, I mean, that could be a very similar situation for, uh, for Gamora. And then Nebula, there's no reason to keep her around really. Um, her whole thing is to kill Thanos, um, or be there to help kill Thanos. She's got no personality. She can't, she can't replace Gamora. So it doesn't make sense, um, to keep her around after Avengers 4, so, yeah, I mean, they're pretty much all going to die. But the main one, especially that we're talking about here, is Gamora. Um, and I, I truly don't see any way for her to um, survive. I really don't. Um, doesn't make sense, really. How I think of it, too. So I, I agree with everything Tyler said. I think, you know, those three Guardians will be killed off within the next two movies. Um, and I think, you know, when you look at the cast, and we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing this probably next week or the week after talking about who everybody who's going to die and who won't die you got to look at i guess kind of like the measurement of how much it's going to affect not just the audience but also you know the team and the future and you know last week you talked about bucky i think it's cool and i I think it's a good idea that we did both of them because i think they both symbolize a different loss to different people bucky will have his group of people that it affects even you know even in the last video we didn't say even like an, an iron man may even care that bucky dies right so he'll have if he's the main avenger i guess to go he'll be you know he will affect a lot of them but then on the guardian side there needs to be somebody that has to go to affect the guardians now it could just be drax drax could be killed it could be really easy and all the guardians would be affected from that too um but you know if you want big scale a big scale death, a scale, a death that's going to actually, you know, really uh, tip the weights here. I, I think Gamora is, a, and like Tyler said, I, I do agree. I think, you know, she has been on the forefront. She's the one who was explaining in the trailer, you know, Thanos, and and, and you know, we got that really nice opening to trailer number two. So she does seem to be, you know, in the forefront. And like Tyler said, 
you know, the people that are not really in this one will be a lot in the next one. And it does seem like she will be in this one quite a bit. So does that mean you have her basically not at all in the next one, or is she going to die? I think it's very, very possible um, that she dies off in this one, and it makes sense. It makes sense uh, for a lot of different reasons. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Will Gamora die? How would it happen? How would that affect the Guardians and just, you know, the Avengers in general? Let us know in the comments below. Again, these Community Series videos come out every single Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time leading up to Avengers Infinity War coming out in theaters on April 27th. We are almost there. We've got three more videos, and then we're going to be having a lot of videos once the movie actually comes out. Very, very excited. We're getting closer and closer, and we'll see you guys next Thursday.